Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another one-to-one -one scale prop replica unboxing and review video. Now before we begin I have to say a huge thank you to Ken Carpenter for hooking me up with this Batarang replica. He reached out and he said hey would you like to take a look at the Batarang? I know you're doing an 89 cosplay and I know it's your birthday plus we're good buddies so I said hell yeah I'd love to take a look at the Batarang on the channel. For those of you who don't know it's rather difficult to come by stuff like this in Australia. Therefore he shipped it out of the States and now it's finally arrived. I couldn't be more excited to take a look at this piece. Now while I've already done the 89 cosplay reveal video that by no means means that the cosplay is done. I'll still be adding bits and pieces and changing stuff here and there and I somehow was missing a Batarang. You can't really have a Batman cosplay without a Batarang. Therefore finally I have one. Now if you are looking to pick this up and I do believe you still can over in the states at Walmart and Target and places like that I think you're able to find this thing so keep your eyes peeled and I'm pretty sure you can pick it up online as well. What we are going to do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. And here of course we have the box art for the 89 Batman Batarang replica. An image of the Batarang right up here on the front in a really nice high gloss. Batman the classic movie logo and of course Batarang along the front there. Now you can see a couple of features of the Batarang. It's of course a full piece. It can also fold up and there is a display base included. I have seen a couple of reviews on this already namely by the review spot and I was super impressed with Necker's attention to detail here. Now they haven't necessarily used the highest quality materials in the world on the display base but we'll get to that in just a second. Here we have the star of the show, the Batarang itself and I'm really loving first impressions of how it feels and how it looks in hand and yes you can see some of the folding pieces. Underneath the clam tray you have what could easily be mistaken for another clam tray. This piece is the display base. And yes it's made out of that hollow sort of clam tray style plastic. It says Batman on the front and you can very simply and very easily display your Batarang on the display base and sit it on your shelf. But I personally won't be doing that. I'll be using my Batarang in conjunction with my cosplay. Now the features of the Batarang itself are of course that you can fold it up on multiple different segments and when you do that you get a pretty darn compact little piece. I don't exactly know how I'm going to attach this to my belt. I'm tempted to try and put a metal strip on the back here and paint it black. Therefore I can just attach it magnetically to the back of my utility belt. Don't exactly know if that is going to work. It might be just as easy to do it on one of these wings. Nevertheless I will figure out a way to get it done. Now in terms of the Batarang itself it's a pretty decent size as you can see based on my hand it's relatively sizable. It also has a fairly decent finish. I don't believe any of the black is painted which trust me on a practical folding piece like this is a good thing. You don't want any of this black to scratch or pit or just chip around the edges because it'll look a little bit unsightly. This way it looks incredibly accurate to the movie. The only painted sections are these little points down the end here which are actually relatively sharp. They've got a decent metallic type sheen to it. They are supposed to be little blades and they look really darn awesome. I'm quite surprised that NECA managed to get that through the toy safety boards in order to allow this to be sold sold on the mass market because yes that's relatively sharp. Now you can unfortunately see a couple of hinges but that's just down to the nature of them having the folding gimmick. Without those hinges it literally wouldn't be possible. Interestingly enough all of the legal licensing information is actually on the inside there. That means when you fold it out you can't really see it. But nevertheless it's a relatively simple piece and it's going to make a really fantastic addition to the 89 Batman cosplay. So once again I have to say a huge thank you to Ken Carpenter for hooking me up with this beautiful Batarang. Fingers crossed NECA makes the grappling gun and also that little piece that he used in the museum scene. I know I just said little but we all know it's not really a little piece. It's a massive honkin line launcher. Fingers crossed they release that as well but nevertheless I'm super impressed with this first 89 Batman cosplay replica that NECA 
did release. Now I do believe you can pick this up in the States, not sure about over here, eBay may be your best bet. Let me know if you have enjoyed this video down in the comments below. Also check out in the description the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.